Henry Cavill signs three film Superman deal. So that would be three Superman films plus possible cameos and appearances in other DC films like, you know, another Justice League or something like that. So I'm reading this from Cosmic Book News via the Culture Nerd. Now, Culture Nerd is the one that was going about rumors that Ben Affleck had signed a new Batman deal and all got all excited. Well, it turns out that's probably about his appearance in the Flash movie, and that may be all we get. It's sad, but, yeah. As for Henry Cavill, who's been very uh, outspoken about his desire to return to Superman, you and I could take this one to the bank. Um, so, uh, and the source there, uh, it shows that he had released images uh, claiming that he, you know, you know he, that he has some inside sources stuff and that sort of thing so you know you can i'll link the article down below but anyway uh so uh gee what does this entail and what could the other films be well uh the article of course guessed the obvious things would be the shazam films and black adam which uh another outspoken actor uh, Dwayne johnson has uh, made it very clear about his desire to have his character go up against henry cavill's superman so that just might be the deal so but uh, even further, with uh, Snyder Cut, uh, and if Snyder Cut wins big for HBO Max, then further Justice League movies could happen, and Henry Cavill could be the Superman for those films. So, um, uh, yeah. Uh, now, uh, early on, there were rumors that he was going to return as these cameo roles, uh, and uh, perhaps in his negotiating with them for that, uh, the relationship is better, and they uh, respond with a uh, new Superman uh, film, but there are three films of just Superman, then, uh, well, that's pretty interesting. That's actually good. And it, so that makes in total, it would be four Man of Steel films, I guess. I <laughs> just don't know uh, exactly uh, how uh, they go about that. But apparently, uh, he approached them with a, uh, a pitch, him and his team. They've been trying to uh you know return for years has been back and forth and all that sort of thing and uh apparently uh they liked it so uh i don't know this would be similar because earlier he and christopher mcquarrie had pitched a superman idea and uh it was rejected and i kind of wondered if whatever that was because it'd be similar because apparently mcquarrie was also interested in taking on green lantern at the time and uh, apparently uh, his nose was pretty much put out of joint about how the negotiations went <laughs> and said that door's closed. He's not interested in doing superhero films. So, um, you know, take that for what it is. But Henry Cavill, of course, remained, uh, uh, you know, interested in playing Superman again. And so uh, here we go. So, so apparently that went well. Whatever pitch that uh, he and his team had, uh, you know, uh, it, it went well so the, the, they praised it and thought it was a good idea and so there you go um, now uh, how do you uh, you know measure this out depending on how Snyder Cut performs and would it tie in with that to keep an ongoing overall narrative I, I've had my own thoughts about how a Brainiac film could uh, easily tie in to the threat of Dark Side and all that sort of thing about the reasons and motives of Brainiac wanting to collect cities from doomed planets. And so, gee, why would the Earth be doomed? Well, Darkseid's coming. And there you go. That's kind of how you can have it. Had a handoff. You have a Superman film, which is basically Superman versus Brainiac. But at the end, there's this sinister nod that uh, the threat from Apocalypse is not over, even though uh, it, could, it, for, for, it sounds, sounds very likely that the Snyder Cut film ends with them defeating Steppenwolf, and they believe that they've uh, ended the threat and then they get a vision. They see into the boom tube that there's dark side looming there. And uh, Diana finds the old ruins and the, the paintings about dark side. And they know that that threat's there. And then a Brainiac versus Superman film confirms the threat even more. And so they kind of jump on Batman's plan that they need to take the fight to Apocalypse to eliminate the threat. And uh, they get their asses handed to them when they do that. <laughs> <laughs> but that was uh, the idea. So I think a Brainiac film could easily fit in to that as one of these three films that Cavill would do as Superman. As the other two, after that's over and done with, it might be its own thing, you know, uh, beyond that. Um, but that would 
mean Batman's got to return. <laughs> and that's the Ben Affleck Batman. Unless, of course, another side project, the Flash film, uh, rewrites it and you have a new Batman there, whether that's Pattinson or someone else, don't know. Uh, and they continue the storyline with the new Batman. But it's basically the same thing. Uh, so anyway, that narrative could play out. And then you'd have uh, uh, two more Superman films. I thought we might get just two Superman films, uh, you know, a sequel to Man of Steel 2, and then a Man of Steel 3 or something along those lines. And uh, possibly the uh, further Justice League films. And that would be it. They'd have to reboot everything and move on to something else. Uh, because eventually these actors do age out of their roles and all that. And plus, you know, they want to move on. Um, so, uh, yeah, this looks like good news to me. <laughs> and it, it makes sense and it fits in with what's happened. And uh, he remains the uh, audience favorite to play the role. So uh, people want more of it. It's high time to get busy and, and make new Superman films and complete that story of him developing into the Superman that everybody knows. It's not a fair judgment of Man of Steel as he was a freshman superhero in that film. Uh, it would be good to see him grow into the role and uh, complete uh, that story and, and can fit in with the Justice League saga that Snyder had laid out. So there you go. Uh, I, I think this is and it's still sort of a rumor, but I still think it's probably uh, true um, because it, it just fits and works. Of course, Ben Affleck being Batman again fits even better in a lot of ways. <laughs> but uh, I, I'm not so sure that's going to happen. But uh, Henry Cavill All back right. at Superman for Thank a long time. Thank you for time. watching and listening and to I, I Why not happen. like and subscribe and check out that link description below. That'll take you to my mini stores and have plenty of goodies for you. You know, hats, mugs, stickers, posters, all that goody, goody stuff. Plus, you can head over to IndiePlanet.com and pick up a copy of my comic book, Night Night. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Plus, you can also catch my podcast, Mr. Nelson Show, over at RadioMisfits.com. And you can also watch my videos on my channel at BitChute. That's the Mr. Nelson channel on BitChute.com.